back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my tea session, spilling the tea and the honest truth about PLT X Little Mix. Now, as you guys saw in a few videos ago, a few, maybe one, I think just one, um, I bought the entire collection um, and let's just say I spent so much money, like dead set, so much money. Anyway, anything for my girls. So, so I asked you guys on Instagram and Twitter to send your honest questions that you want, like, because I will give you the honest answer. So, let's get it started. I've screenshotted a bunch, so, you know, don't want to be here for six million years, so let's get through them. So, first one says, green sparkly dress. Is it very t skin tight or uncomfortable? The green sparkly dress with the little off-the-shoulder thing that Perry is modeling is so comfortable and really flattering on my body um i love the way it looks it shapes me really nicely and i just really love it um it's not uncomfortable and because i got my right size it's not skin tight it does have a lot of like ruching which is like when the um what's it called when the fabric kind of like pleats itself Doo -doo 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 -doo. um but i love just the way it looks on me um so i really thoroughly enjoy that dress and um my size is perfect so again it's not skin tight the only issue I have with it, it is a sequin fabric, so of course you are going to get, you know, a little bit, you know, rashed up and a little scratched up, but that's a sequin for you. If it wouldn't be Little Mix, do you think you would buy it? Is the quality that good? If it wasn't Little Mix, no, I wouldn't have bought everything, um, but certain things, if I was just on Pretty Little Thing and it was there, I would buy. Like, if I just saw this, obviously I would buy it because, like, Power's a Little Mix song, it's sequin, it's not sequin, it's Damonte, it's everything. Um, the same with the boots, if those were just on there and there were just some model wearing them, I would absolutely buy those as well. Um, I think I would buy most of those boots even if they weren't Little Mix. Um, that blue outfit, I would absolutely buy without it being modelled by Jay. Same with the off-the-shoulder snake one that Lee is wearing, I love that as well. I would buy that in a heartbeat even if it wasn't modelled by the girls. What was your favourite outfit that you wear a lot? This is my favourite, I actually have two of these. One that's kind of like a lounge around the house, like su like super big, like in a few sizes too big. Um, and then I have another one which is my actual size. Um, and that's for like if I'm going out somewhere. So I have a loungy one and I have like a going out fits me properly. That This happens to be my really big one. So, yeah. Other outfits that I would, would wear a lot um, are just the regular skinny jeans and the elasticated jeans because you can wear them with anything. Um... And I also, I'm not going to say wear a lot, but one of my favourites is that Leanne snake off the giraffe, off the shoulder, like blazer kind of dress. I really, I vibe with that one. Okay, which outfit is your least favourite? My least favourite is the like yellow tiger cat suit thing that Jade was modelling. The only reason being is when in my life am I going to wear that? Um, I don't go to festivals, so that's a place you could wear it if you are buying it or you have it. Um, but like, I don't. And like, you know, it's not my style, um, but I got a great Instagram photo in it, but that's it. If I need it for a fancy dress or something, sure, but like, I'm done with that one. Do you think that they should have given some casual outfits? Most outfits are like going out outfits. Yes, I definitely think there should have been more casual um, ensembles, um, but... When you think of Little Mix, you don't think of them lounging around in their outfits, you think of their like coordination and the why is it every time I film there's an ambulance but like when you think of Little Mix you think of like the way they dress when they go to red carpets and stuff because they are a celebrity um but yes I do think that they should have been more casual options like I feel like this is the only like cash option like you could wear this with like some runners and you'd be absolutely good to go outfit done but I'm just looking I'm looking at my closet over there where I can see all the pieces and I'm just thinking like yeah like maybe they should have done like a platform sneaker like a knockoff of a buffalo shoe that Jesse always wears. Like, I don't know. But, you know, I'm down for everything. What are your opinions on the prices? Now, when I bought it, it was on the UK site, which was my mistake. I shouldn't have gone for the 24-hour sale thing because it really fucked me up in the end, which I will get to. Um, but I just bought everything and it was in pounds and... <laughs> I think for what it is, it's well priced. Like, what if you do buy stuff, you'll see why it's priced that way. Oh, the Oriental looks, that that fabric is so high quality. 
Um, it's just like that is what you're paying for, but you're also paying for the Little Mix name as well. But I truly believe, and I'm not paid to say this, I'm not affiliated with PLT, not affiliated with Little Mix, um, I truly believe that the prices are pretty okay for what it is. How much do you pay for it and is it worth the money? Now, as I said, I spent a lot of money and I actually made a couple orders because originally I just bought heaps and then I was like, well, I've basically got all of it. Why don't I just go and buy everything? So that's what I did and I really effed up because I did that like 24 hours launch, like thing jig, but it wasn't available for me. I didn't see that. Maybe I was just dumb, but it wasn't available in the Australian store plt.com.au it was only available in the Great Britain store so that's where I bought all my stuff and then when that stuff breaks my heart when this stuff was eventually came to Australia I had to pay so much money in import tax and I've never had to pay import tax ever in my life before like I've had parcels from everywhere all over the world um, ones from big companies some from my family and I've never had to pay import tax like when I get my LMX makeup that is sent from my family who live in the UK um, and no import tax, but for some reason PLT had import tax and I had to pay it twice First one was $375 Australian for it to be able to be sat in my house and I could wear it And then I had to pay another $320 for uh, the second lot to come to my house, so That was my mistake Sometimes the deal is too good to be true because I had to pay so much money in just tax like 375 AUD to get it to be able to be dropped off at my house like I had already paid shipping I had already paid for the items and I still had to pay over a hundred dollars to be at my house that is crazy and of course I do anything for the girls so absolutely I pay the import tax um, so that's that breaks my heart so I basically spent like seven hundred dollars just on import tax plus shipping plus the items of the clothes like the items of the clothes the first lot was like two thousand dollars AUD second lot was like a thousand dollars so that's three thousand like three thousand six hundred dollars that I'm spending you know so I spent a lot of money um, but I absolutely do think it's worth it it amps up my closet and I'm thoroughly enjoying it so that's the tea on that so in a way yes it is overpriced for the import tax is it is this sort of clothes you were expecting from the collab or did they surprise you Honestly, I was expecting like thigh high boots, I was expecting like oversized things, but I wasn't expecting like the oriental look or the mesh looks, I wasn't expecting that at all. But when I did see it, I was like, oh yes, absolutely, I'm so down. So I 100% wasn't expecting what they came out with, which is a good thing because it keeps you on the edge of your seat and you're like, ooh, what's going to happen? Ooh, what's going on now? Ooh. So, Love that. Okay, I am a size 16. Are your are pants whoa? Are pants same size or do you suggest getting pants up one size up? I cannot read. Okay, um, I wear a size 14, um, but when I buy a pant that I know won't stretch, I will go up a size to a 16. Um, and again, that's just the way it works. Um, so like the snake peri pants, I got in a 16 because. Those don't really stretch that much. Um, the cargo pants and both the cargo pants, the ones with the Diamante pockets and just the regular one with the buckle, um, those I just got in my regular size because they do have a little bit of a stretch to it, but not like, but just a little bit, so they give a little bit. Uh, and also the oriental skirt, like the oriental ones, they also don't have a lot of stretch, so I would suggest going up a size, like mine fit just and like okay to be comfortable but I would suggest going up a size if you think it like if your guts telling you that's not gonna fit go with that because that's very 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 true like I buy from PLT a lot so I know what my size range is I'm either gonna be a 14 or a 16 so it just depends on what's going on with what it is if it says no stretch in the description buy up a size that's always what I do um, so that's the tea on that what do you think about people saying the oriental dress is cultural appropriation? Love you. Love you too. Um, cultural appropriation. Now, this is a kind of a touchy subject and like I don't like to speak on these things because people will jump at you no matter what your opinion is. Personally, I think that Jessie's and Lee's, I think, are the most like safe 
if you don't want to be called out for cultural appropriation, I feel as if Jades and Perrys would be the top ones f to be called out for that. Um, this is just my opinion, like, I, I don't know, I can't speak about it, I'm not of that culture, I don't know how it offends anybody in that culture, but, yeah, I don't really know, but I love the looks, so, I don't know, it's a weird topic for me to speak on, but, I don't know. Is there any outfit you didn't buy? I'm genuinely curious. No, I bought every outfit, no matter if it was a see-through mesh catsuit, bodysuit thing, or a power hoodie, you know? So I bought everything. I bought the me the merch shirt, the black one, I didn't want the white one. That's just me, I just, black's like my soul. <laughs> um, no. Um, so that's what I, the only thing that I like missed out on were like accessories because I wasn't going to wear them or I didn't like them. Like I missed out on Perry's um, oriental bag, like I didn't think that was my style. Like obviously the oriental looks not my style either, but like why would I need this little dingy lingy bag? I got most of the bags anyway, so. Yeah, so the outfits, no, I didn't miss an outfit. Accessories, yes, I did miss a few accessories and a few shoes. I think like the clear shoes, like I'm never gonna wear a clear shoe, so that was just not gonna happen for me. Do they really smell like fish? This is a question about the snake outfits. Um, the snake outfits do have an odor to them. Once they're out of the bag, you kind of get hit in the face with that kind of like weird smell. It's basically just the smell of that fabric. Um, I feel as if once you've worn it, you've washed it, I feel as if that may go away, I don't know yet, I haven't washed my outfits because I haven't worn them except for here to take a photo for Instagram, so I haven't done that yet so I can't speak on it, but like, this is like the, the blue bag, it's been sitting out since I got it and like I can tell that the scent's faded, because even this had it too, just because it is the fabric, um, but you can tell, like when I was wearing it, it's so hot under my ring line when I was taking my photos, that when I took off like the peri pants, it reeked of fish. And I was like, oh, what is that? Picked up the pants and like from the ankle to all the way up to the top of the seam. It was like, what the hell? So they definitely need a wash. Maybe even wash before wear. I don't know. But they do have an odor. None of the other things have an odor except for the leopard, the leopard, the snake skin outfits. So that's up to you. Would you recommend them? Basic question, but we need answers. Yes, I would recommend them. I feel as if, they are different to what a lot of companies are doing in like shops and stuff so it's good to stand out if you're a person who's like me who likes to wear things that people aren't necessarily always wearing like that's what i think this collection is it's a lot of like different things like that stone color stuff like that is so bland and boring but the way that it's done i feel as if really 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 cool um, again, the snake print outfits, like snake print's really in, like a lot of animal print is really in, but the way it's done is different. So I just love that. And I love that there's, everything has like a matching item. So like the shoe matches the dress, matches the, the handbags. Like I just love the way it is and it's really, really well done. So yes, I would recommend it. Which outfit would you actually wear on a night out? I would wear majority of them on a night out. Blue snake print is like top of my radar. Um, the snake print off the shoulder thing Leanne's wearing. A lot of those green looks I would wear in a heartbeat. The denim looks with a nice pair of heel for a more casual dressy look. I would wear a lot of them out. Um, the ones I wouldn't wear out are the mess, mesh cat suit. I'd wear the mesh bodysuit one. That's easy. Throw in a cargo pant and a heel. Done. Good to go. But not the bodysuit. Not the cat suit. Ah, uh -uh, not happening. Not today, Brenda. Which of the girls looks was your favourite of the whole shoot? My favourite was probably, I'm, I'm going to harp on about this blue dress. The blue snake print dress is my favourite from the whole collection. Um, and I also love the snake, I think, I'm just say the snake print outfits are my favourite. Although they have that weird odour, I feel as if they are so cool and I just love them. Um, so those are my favourites, but the blue is number one. Like when I was looking at the, like, the promo for it all, like I was obsessed with Jessie's oriental look. And when I got it, yes, I loved the way it looked on me, but it's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. Like, I was going to wear that for my 21st birthday. I'm not anymore, so that's why it's on Instagram. I'm wearing something else instead, which is not on Instagram, so you probably can work out what I'm going to wear for my 21st birthday, but that's what's happening, so. Oh. Is the coppery dress Jessie wore tight fitting? No. If you get your right size, it won't be tight fitting. Um, it does have a, a, just like a droopy neck, so that kind of 
gives off the boob area a little bit of, you know, place to breathe. Um, but other than that, like, it's so stunning. Like, the leg pops out, and again, it's super cute. It's just a pre sequin fabric. It's not great, but it looks great. Does that make sense? Like, it's not the best high quality sequin patterned fabric you can get, but it does the job. It looks stunning. Done. Is there any clothes that don't stand out as much as the rest? I would say the stone looks only because it is such a bland colour, but like if you threw on a belt on that um, stone dress with the trench coat, I think that would look fierce. Um, like, again, stone is such a bland colour. It's, kind of, it's just beige, it's like vanilla ice cream, it's nothing special. So that's the tea on that. Do you think that Little Mix will come out with new PLT stuff? Will they do a second collection? Possibly. It's a really good chance that they would. Um, I feel as if it would be around the time of the summer tour, so they can do more of like a summery look. So like, bikini, not bikinis because Leanne's got the inner seashell, take that back. But like, I don't know, like summery or maybe a casual, maybe this is the going out stuff and the second collection will be like cash stuff. Like you don't know if they're gonna even do one, so. But I would love that, like PLT people if you're watching or girls, like do a second collection, make it all like everyday wear. Um, we would love that, thank you so much. Which is the most flattering? Definitely the emerald sequin green dress that Perry was modeling and Jade's blue snake outfit. The reason being, those are quite fitted. Um, like Jade's snake look has these um, like plastic bones here and then they flare out to give you that hip. Um, and it's super, super comfy and I love that. And Perry's green dress, it's just so flattering. Like it's, it's ruched a little bit, it's not super tight, it's got off the shoulder moment, it's just super, super cute. So highly recommend that. Um, did everything fit right from the bag? Yes. Thank God, because I didn't want to pay any more import tax or shipping returns. Actually, I don't send anything back even if it doesn't fit. That's just the tea on that. Um, but if, yeah, if something didn't fit, I would have not sent it back to PLT. I would have just given it to like, um, like Vinnie's or like those donation shops where you donate your stuff. What's that called? Goodwill. Um, so that's where you could find some PLT stuff if it didn't fit. But, unfor but fortunately for me, everything that I bought fit nicely. Like if I was to send one thing back, it would be Jade's um, gold like dress thingamajig. Is it, or is it still oriental that look? I don't know. It's just, it fits everywhere perfectly except for my boobs because they are quite big. So it's kind of a challenge for me to pull up that dress up onto my boobs because it fits perfectly everywhere else except for the boob and if I got a size up it wouldn't fit me perfectly everywhere but it'll fit the boobs so yeah I just have to go no bra and like fold my boob in to pull that dress up which I'll just do so that's that where did you get the money from and how can you buy everything I work very very hard okay I basically work seven days a week um five days a week at my childcare job you guys know that I do that Monday through Friday and then so on the weekends, I film my videos, so I work a lot. I don't have an off day, um, so that's where I get the money from. Like I work so so hard, and then I finish my actual job where I have to go somewhere, and then I work here. I put my videos up online, so yeah, that's where I got the money from. Do the boots go down when you walk? No, because I have quite a big leg. I have a big calf, and I have a big thigh, so. Thank God the boots don't go down, but I have an issue with thigh-high boots where my calf is super big that it takes a lot of force to pull on a thigh-high boot. Um, usually I'll have to wear like a knee-high sheer stocking with it, so it's easy to just glide up because my, le my legs are so chunky at the bloody calf, a lot of tap dancing for you, that just pull, it doesn't go up by itself. So that's that. The only one that I don't need force with is the Diamante boot because it is supposed to be a scrunched boot, but because I have a f I have massive calves and massive thighs, I pull them up and they're just regular thigh high Diamante boots, and I love that way more than a scrunch boot. So that's a plus for me. Okay, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please. Give me a giant thumbs up. Let me know down below what you would like to see next. Let me know what you've bought from PLT's collection 
or if you've been waiting or you're waiting for a restock because um, I think that we all deserve some PLTX Little Mix. Like, it is stunning. Like, even if you buy just the merch shirt, you're wearing PLTX Little Mix. Done. Um, even if you buy just the power hoodie, PLTX Little Mix. So, like, Stunisha Jones, you know what I mean? Make sure you're following me on Instagram and Twitter and Spotify if you want to see what music I'm currently listening to. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all the things you're supposed to do, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys! I'm so, 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 so